Hello guys, welcome to my tutorials corner. My name is Abhi and this is part 21 of WP tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are gonna see that how we can create a splash screen in WPF. So first of all, let's understand that what is a splash screen. A splash screen is a window which comes before the main window appears. You may have noticed while opening the different softwares like MS Office products or Photoshop or Visual Studio or may, you may have noticed while opening a game a small window comes before the main window loads so that's basically a splash screen if you will notice here here are the different splash screens of different softwares this is the splash screen of Adobe Photoshop this is the splash screen of Excel and this is the splash screen of Visual Studio. So basically in this video we are going to create the splash screen using WPF. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So first of all I am going to create a window, a new window and I will name it splash screen okay now I'm going to set the height and width of this window so height may be 500 and width 450 so that's fine now I don't want to let the user to resize this window so to do that I will set the property of window resize mode to no resize so user cannot resize this window also I will set the window style to none I don't want to display this so let's set the window style to none Let's set the background color of this window. Maybe slight gray. And also I want to set the position of this window. So when this window will open, I want to set the location of this window to the center of this screen. So let's set the property window startup location to center screen. Okay. Now the next thing I am going to do, I will create a stack panel and I will display some information of, on this window. So let's, first of all I want to display a image, the icon of this software. Let's go ahead and set the image and source, maybe I have icon inside the folder I'm going to set the google.ico so let's give it the path of that image that is inside the icons folder so let's type icons and google.ico I'm going to set the height and width of it maybe 100 and width 100 as well let's set the vertical al alignment of the contents inside this stack panel to center okay this is fine now the next thing I am going to do I will create a text box and let's set the font size of it to 30 and foreground to white maybe that is and text alignment to center now I'm going to type some text inside it maybe my tutorials corner 
I want to create another text block and I will place some more text here this time I want to decrease the font size maybe 15 and let's type let's make programming okay so this is our splash screen the next thing I'm going to do I will create a dashboard this is just for an example so after the this is splash screen I want to display the dashboard so let's create the dashboard and let's click OK add and let's create a text block here and font size 200 let's set the text here hello I am dashboard I want to set window state to maximize so when this window will open this will be automatically maximized okay so on my splash screen I am going to write some code so after one or two seconds I want to display this dashboard so let's do that first of all I'm going to create the object of dispatcher timer dispatcher before that we will have to use the namespace the dispatch the dispatcher timer class exists inside the system dot windows dot dot threading so let's use that using system dot windows dot threading now we can use the dispatcher timer ps dispatcher timer and let's create the object of it dt is equals to new dispatcher timer okay the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to create the tick event of this dispatcher timer so how do we do that dt dot tick and when this tick will happen I want to handle that inside a function so let's create the event handler for that dt and tick let's put a semicolon now I'm going to create this function here so this should handle the tick of this dispatcher timer so let's create the function for it private and this is not going to return anything dt underscore tick and object sender and let's set the event ARGS for that now what I want to do after one second or two seconds I want to display the dashboard so let's create the object of dashboard tb is equals to new dashboard and let's show this and inside this splash screen as soon as this splash screen will open 
this function will run so we have created the tick event handler for this dispatcher timer but till now we have not given the interval for this dispatcher timer so I'm going to set the interval for two seconds so after each two seconds this dispatcher time is going to tick so let's set the interval for that dt dot interval dt dot interval is equals to and look at here this is expecting the time span object so let's create the time span and in here I'm going to use this overloaded method so let's pass 0 hour and 0 minutes and 2 seconds because we have to invoke this event after 2 seconds and let's start this timer dt dot start so this function will start this timer so after 2 seconds this function is going to hit this because we have assigned the event handler for this dispersion timer and when this function will be in invoked this is going to create the object of dashboard window and this will show that window and after showing that window I want to stop the dispatcher timer so let's dt dot let's call the function stop so this would stop the timer and also I want to close the splash screen so for that I am going to simply say this dot close so this should close the splash screen okay so all we are done now let's set the background color of it maybe beige that's fine okay so all we are set one thing we need to verify that the app.jml is pointing currently this is pointing to the main window I'm going to set that to splash screen so this would open the splash screen okay so I'm going to run this now let's click start and you can see this splash screen here and just after two seconds it has opened the main window so this is the dashboard where you can display the different menus or whatever you want to do here you can display on this window basically this is the main window which comes after the splash screen this is just for an example you can do the things using delegates and so on but right now I have just shown you an example that how you can use this place screen and after showing this place screen how you can open another window so in this way we can use this place screen in WPF I hope you guys enjoyed this video that's it from this video tutorial. Please subscribe, comment, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.